Welcome back to Adventures in Reach. Today I'm going to be comparing gloves versus mittens by using thermal imaging. Just to get a fun comparison here, palms, the backs of the hands. Now the thermal imaging camera I'm going to be using is this FLIR 1 Generation 3 and essentially you can just plug this into a phone. You can buy it either for an Android or an iPhone. When I bought it, it was about $200 and essentially it uses the FLIR's camera to see the infrared or the thermal and then it uses the phone's camera to see the outline. If you're interested in using this for this kind of video or finding wires or pipes in your house for example, leaks in your house, then you might want to pick one of these up. I'll put the link in the description. So I've got a whole bin of gloves and mittens here. I'll do my best to compare them. It won't be perfect because they're not the exact same material, but I tried to use things that are similar weight. It is 19 degrees out here. So first off, we have this mitten that's really thin on the front, about the same thickness as this glove, this liner glove, and on the back, it's a bit thicker. So I'm guessing that the back will be a little cooler looking than the back of the glove. When you're looking at the thermal imaging, you're going to see some different colors. So the white is the warmest part. The blues and greens are the coldest part. So when you look at my face, that's probably in white and that's where the most heat's escaping because I have the least insulation there. So you should be able to tell right here uh, which one is a little warmer. So I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna take this liner off of this hand and put one that's cold on my other hand and so we can keep switching and he keep the comparison fair instead of just trading out one at a time. We're gonna use that same mitten but we're going to put on a thicker liner glove. It's actually pretty thick. A lot of times I'll wear this on its own. These are very warm liners. They're probably another 50% thicker than the ones I just had on. So that's the fronts or the palms and this is the backs of my hands. I'm going to change it up a little bit. This is that same glove I was talking about, that liner glove that's nice and heavy. This is simply a, a mitten that's just an, like an over mitt. It's just the nylon. So insulation versus non-insulation. If the mitten is warmer on this one, that's a pretty clearly hands down which one is warmer. Go to the back, get a little heat flowing. All right, so now I'm going to layer the liner glove with this really thin over mitt. And I'm gonna compare that to a pretty expensive, high quality Hestra glove. Now, these things, because of the leather and the thin slate, they're pretty warm, uh, but we're gonna be comparing that to something that in theory should be not as warm because it has less insulation in this mitten with only the liner. It's windy out here today and just having this wind layer makes such a huge difference with keeping your fingers warm. You might wanna check these out. I'll try to link all this stuff in the description. Get the blood flowing again, hiking in the winter. Sometimes I'll just like walk like this. You can feel I'm kind of warm up. So maybe we can see that in the thermal. So now we're gonna go the Hestra glove on one, a cheap leather mitten on the other hand. You could also think about just using Finsulate insulated gloves from a department store or hardware store rather. The nice thing about these is that they feel like they're made to fit their hand. So here we've got these, these nice Hestras compared to non Finsulate, just like a fleecy lining. This is the backs again. Get some more blood flowing. All right, so now I'm gonna put the liner gloves on both hands, the Hestra on one. These are a little tight. And then I'm gonna take one of my favorite hand coverings of all time. And these are these OR Snowline Over Mitts. These are uninsulated. There's two layers to them. They're pretty warm, they're waterproof. And just with the liner in there, we'll compare them to the Hestra. So they're really the fair comparison would probably actually be to put those other insulative mittens inside this, right? Because this uh, left hand has insulation in it. Now we have insulation in the mitten. Here's the palms and here's the backs. My right hand feels like it's warming up. Left hand feels like it's cooling down. So I'll definitely link to these guys, these OR snow lines. These are by far 
my favorite recommendation. Obviously the gloves are gonna give you much more dexterity and the mittens are going to be more warmth when you need it. And so it's nice to have that combination. I also always recommend to have some sort of liner gloves because then if you're doing something finicky where you need that dexterity, you're not gonna get frostbite from touching something directly. All right, if this is helpful or interesting to you in any way, please hit the like button. It's super helpful for convincing the YouTube algorithm that this video is worth letting other people see. So please hit the like button. And then I hope you consider subscribing. I do videos about every week, giving you more skills or inspiration for the outdoors so that you can have successful adventures like you may see on this channel. So I really encourage you to get out there, comment if you have any questions or ideas, and I hope to see you on the next video.